guys welcome back to some more afk arena today we're over on the youtube account we're going to be checking out the new temple rift guide that came out from afk inside now one of the interesting things guys is it is with mages so uh, kind of interesting it is mages it is on um, support tank which is pretty interesting now the beacons i went with a little bit different because i ran brutus um but i am going to go all out on the guide now in here it shows level one energy transfer which for the grand hunt I have level one energy transfer, level one fearsome alliance, which we have as well. The rest of it is maxing the mages tree, maxing the tank tree, minimizing the support tree. So we're going to build it like that, guys. So we're going to go to the minimum. So again, we're going to max out the might tree or excuse me, max out the mage tree is going to be the build. So I'm going to build this up as far as possible. And I believe it is seven and then it might stop. So seven, we're going to go max there. Tank tree, we're going to do the same. We're going to go max up to level seven, leaving our support tree at the lowest one possible, which of course is at zero, because now we're going to level them up equally. So the tank is going to be the highest as well as mage. Um, those are going to be our two highest followed by support. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to level those up and see what the what this and if this works, guys, because again, it, it's going to be kind of interesting. Um, because normally I went with the warrior spec, which if you look at the best in slot teams, a majority of the players did go with the warrior slot. So I'm not sure if this is going to yield us a much higher, much better result with the guide that is coming out, or if it's going to make sense to do what we've done in some of our past videos, working on the warrior um, with the awakened version of Brutus and, and things of that nature. So even here, guys, we can't move these up anymore, which means one more on support. I'm going to go one more with mage. This is going to be our beacon set, guys. Now, of course, we have Fearsome Alliance. We have Energy Transfer, the rest of it. Might, Tank, Support. Tree is set, or our beacons are set. So the Grand Hunt, um, again, we're going to look at the Mage, and I'm going to look at the build. Um, we'll cover the guide in just a minute, but I want to do both of the builds they have in here um, based on the heroes. And we're going to go with the first build, which is... Um, Scarlet. So Scarlet, of course, being huge in here. We have Scarlet in here. We have Grez in here. Those are the two primary heroes. Then it has Twins and Palmer. So we're actually going to drop Palmer in here. We're going to drop the Twins in here. Um, and then the final slot is Mortis. Again, I, I'm really hoping that this layout is going to work. So for our badges, guys, badges are going to be the Rallying Horn, followed by the Hatchet, which we know the Hatchet makes a really, really big presence. Spurring Cloak is what is the twins are going to get. Then it is the Revitalizing Herb for the last two heroes. This is the build. So this is exactly what they have. Now on this one, they do have the dragon. So I want to make sure again that we are completely built out. This one, we're going to drop the dragon in, which means actually th this is team one. I'm going to swap this to team one, guys. There we go. So team one is set. We have Scarlet. We have... um. Grez, we have the twins, we have Palmer, and we do have Mortis. Perfect. So that is set, guys. The second one is going to be, again, a little bit different of a setup. So this one is going to have Oden. We're going to put Peanut in here. So Little Astar, Joan of Arc, which interesting enough because they actually have Merlin in, or excuse me, um, Palmer in both ones. So I'm going to go with another variation. It, Interesting, interesting to see that they do have them in both formations. Because this one actually shows or plays out a little bit different. I don't like when they when they use both the heroes. So this one actually has Oden, it has um, Peanut in here. It has Joan of Arc, which of course we know is super powerful. Then it has Palmer which we know is in formation one, and then it has Mishka in here. So this is the formation they're running in here, which means formation one is gonna have to be altered. I'm, I'm thinking to formation two. Again, not really making a, a super, let's swap these two because then that adjusts, of course, formation one, or if you're only going with team one, team two within here, which might be what they're doing, guys. So I'm gonna stick with that again. Looking at the guide, I, I, I'm assuming it's it's one solid formation and then a second one. But this one runs this formation with the lion, which is what we have. I'm going to try both of them. I'm going to try both different 
formations. And when I show you the guide, guys, you'll see kind of what I'm talking about. So we got the hatchet, hatchet, um, revitalizing herbs, revitalizing herbs. And then the final one with Mishka is going to be the hatchet. This is the build that they have for team one, which makes this, again, just like we have here, puts the twins in here, but Mortis does drop out. And we put Nevi in here and the awakened version of Solus. So we'll actually have both of them in here and the twins. Again, now this formation shows hatchet, hatchet. So again, a little bit change within the formation. And I wanna see what we can do with these guys. Again, I'm, I'm willing to do some diamonds. I'm willing to see exactly what the mage tree is gonna look. And then this one goes with the recharge crystal. And the pet in here is the lizard. So, so the dragon. Let me make sure we got everything set. Boom, boom, one, two, three. All right, that's good. With the winged lion, we are good there. Hatchet, hatchet, revitalizing, revitalizing, and then the crystal. We are good there with the lizard. All right, guys, I'm going to try this five attempts. Let's see what we can do in here, guys. Hoping, fingers crossed, that the thousand. Now, of course, we have the trees max, guys. They, they are built out. Um, so there's 82. I believe that was where we were before. So I'm hoping with these five battles that we might see a little bit, a little bit more here. And the first team I'm, I'm on the fence with. I'm definitely on the fence with the um, first team. And there are a few alternatives in here. A uh, badge addiction, unfortunately, at this point, we don't have unlocked. But I'm hoping this is going to yield at least some better results for some players, guys. So 82, um, top 2%. So looks like overall, guys, the first team did really well. The second team, not really too much. I mean, even looking here at our battle history, 62, 75. 75 being the best attempt that we had in our last five. Um, we did hit 82 with our warrior team. So again, this team is a lot more friendly, it is probably what I'd say. But I'm going to reset this, and I want to try the other team that they have here that we kind of started to build. So this one on team one, if Scarlet, we have Grez, which we have the twins, both of these. So we're going to put Palmer and Mortis like we seen the first time. I'm actually going to drop Palmer in here. And I'm going to drop Mortis in here. Again, this is going to be just all for damage, really. This one again, a little bit of a different. This has the railing horn. Um, twins actually go with the spurring cloak and then revitalizing for the last two. And this again is using either the, um, the wing lion or the dragon. So this team, team one, there we go. So we have it set. I'm actually gonna put the wing lion in here. Again, kind of looking at this formation. So this one is done guys. So next team with this formation, this has Damon and Silas. Interesting combination here, but I want to see how it works. So we have Damon in here. Um, we have Silas in here. Then we have Halos. So let's go ahead and drop Halos in there. Um, then we have the twin, or we have Rosaline following Damon. So again, kind of an interesting formation in here. And then Hodgkin as a buffer. Now looking here, this is running our grassy orb. And then let's go through and set these. So we got the hatchet in here, followed by the herbs. We have the revitalizing crystal. And then double hatchet is what we're looking on here, guys. All right, so that sets our two teams. Again, we're going to go ahead and use our five attempts. See if we can break that 82 billion damage. And then I'm going to share the guide with you guys. That way you can check it out. I'll put a link down below for the guide. Um, again, kind of interesting between, between the, the two sets they have here because, again, none of these are actually in the leaderboard. It, the leaderboard is definitely different than what we're seeing in here. But, again, these are some really solid um, low-budget teams. And I feel like I could definitely do something with some of these. We have one more attempt, but it seems like the Scarlet team is very strong. But, of course, we forego the Might team in here. Let me see what we got here. 50, 62, 60, the 25, 28. Not super impressed with the team out of here, guys. Even here, 62. 
which it is Scarlet Grez that is literally carrying everything. The Damon team not really doing much of anything. Um, all right, guys, so let's go ahead and we will check out the guide. All right, guys, so here it is based on the formations for the Grand Hunt. Again, big shout out to AFK Inside. Um, looking at the teams right here, Scarlet Grez combination, this seems like a really, really solid primary team. Um, we have a couple buffers in there, but overall, it seems like the, the second team is where we're, we're missing a lot of the damage in here. Um, so take, take it with a grain of salt, guys. Again, it, it's really dependent on the heroes. You've seen how poor this second team actually performed. But looking at the tanks in here, um, I wonder if even like an awakened version of Taylene or something of that nature would work a little bit better than this Grand Hunt Guide. But again, these teams are, are very, very affordable to build, not based on the awakened heroes, which is the reason why I did want to share them in here. Even over here, we have Solus, guys, which again, she is a very high priority hero to build within AFK Arena. Um, even having her at a lesser level will still work incredibly well. In addition, guys, the beacons, again, we max the mage, we max the tank. Um, support was our minimum one. Energy transfer, fearsome alliance. We did both of those. Badge addiction, unfortunately, we don't have blocked out yet. But if you're missing some of the key support heroes that we see right in here, they are down here, guys. Halos for Nevi, you can see the sub in there. Um, Joan of Arc for Moriel, and then, of course, the awakened version of Solus for Hodgkin. Depending on the team comps that you're running, there are a couple alts in here. But overall, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Very, very cool new guide for the Grand Hunt. Unfortunately, it did not yield any better results, but I'm hoping for you that it will be a little bit better. So again, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.